Hey guys, Platinum here. Today we are going to be making a transforming mech. No scale needed. There's going to be an attack form, a defense form, and a speed form. And it, it sounds complex, but trust me, it's it's actually kind of uh, simple. So we're going to start with a pole. And we're going to make the foot here. So do that. And we do that. And that. So we have a basic little foot here. And we are going to make the ankle so this this foot looks it looks pretty okay but i think we can add some armor to it so the concept of this mech is it's going to have armor plates on the side that will extend out and that'll be a defense mode so we're going to add armor plates here and they will basically extend out and it will look really awesome so we can do that and that because it, they can't be touching the this foot else it won't extend out so just make sure of that and we can add the back here and don't worry we only really have to make one leg if you don't have the um, if you don't have a jet seat, then you can't duplicate. So, if but if you can and you know how to duplicate, then feel free to uh, duplicate the leg. So, um, if you don't have it, then you can just follow the tutorial, the the uh, start of the leg tutorial again, but just like a little bit farther away. I'll just I'll show you where to put the leg. Don't worry. So you can put another armor plate here, just like that. Right now we can start making this actual leg. So we put poles like this, add like that, and we do bam, 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 and we put a pole like that, and that, and that. So it should be looking like that. And we can add poles here and here. Okay, so now what we can do is we can add a knee pad armor. So, actually, the speed form, um, with the speed form, I was going to make the armor drop. If you want to make the armor drop, then you just replace a few of them with butter, and that'll basically work fine. So, I might actually do that. So, let's, we should get replacing. Let's put butter. So, let's delete that, put butter, delete that and that, and replace it with butter. Alright, so now we can drop the armor. Alright, so, now, we have to basically connect this. Make sure it doesn't fall off. And we do the knee pad thing. Just like that. And that. Alright, so. Now, we have this basic leg. Alright, now. We have to do the, um, the upper bit. And this leg, I don't think I'll make it move because... Well, I'll make it move with servos, but... Uh, basically, we... I don't want you ha to have to have wings for it to work. So I want to make this mech like you don't have to have the uh, angel wings for this mech to work. So it should be okay. So I'm not making the, the legs move intensely. I might add servos. But you know. Yeah if you don't have wings then just don't add uh, the servos or anything. So that should be our that should be our leg. So it's a pretty thick leg. So I might actually add some volume on the sides here. Let's put some blocks there. Yeah, we do that and that. Yeah, with most of the tutorials, I'm just I have no concept of this. I'm just building blindly and to see what what it looks like when it turns out. But don't worry, if this video is posted, it looks great. I won't post anything that looks bad per se. So now the leg is looking a little bit better. We can just add a little thing there. Wait, yep, no, wait, is that connected? Nope. All right, that should be good. Don't worry, I'll save this and test it, and if there's any errors, then we can go back and fix them. So, it's fine. Okay, so that should be our chunky leg. That's a chunky leg. So, we can now save this. So I'm going to save it real quick. So, you should, you should too, because we have to duplicate it. Oh, right, before we save it, you need to have the screwdriver tool. I forgot that. So, you need the screwdriver tool. Uh, oops. Uh, it's not, it's not that expensive, really. It's 2,500. I mean... You probably have to go to the end like a few times, J just a few, like 25 maybe. I, I can't do math. Uh, uh, so the extend length, change that to like three. Yeah, three. So just change it to three, and now and now we can save and test. All right, I've saved it. Let's see if it works. So let's do that, and let's unanchor all, and now we can test it. So this is the normal form, and now this is the armored form. Let's see how it looks. Oh, oh wow. Oh no, they're connected, no. Alright, delete this. 
There you go. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, the armor plates, like, extend out, and it turns into, like, a defense mode. So we can actually make it look more natural by adding, like, some poles there. And now for the speed mode, drop all the armor, and it becomes speed mode. So the leg becomes extremely thin, and very, like, you know, it can move really fast. So, I guess we can continue the building. Alright, so that worked fine, but I guess we just have to remove these. And we can also add, like, a rail, I guess, for it to move along. So, like, we need to do that. And, no, not that. Alright. And that. Don't worry, it'll go right through. It'll just make it look a little bit more natural. Actually, oh, no! Alright, just do that. Yeah, just add a block there. And a block there. And let's actually, instead of uh, three, let's do about two, maybe. Yeah, two should be pretty good. All right, so now the leg works fine, but now we just have to duplicate it. So follow my steps. If you don't have the pilot seat, then it's fine. It's okay. So let's just save the leg how it is. All right, now that I've saved it, I can now duplicate it. So we want to put a chair here and let's put the leg one, two, three, four, five five six about six blocks away now what we want to do is we want to basically so it's six blocks away so one two three four five six yep okay now i sit in the chair put a cake down or a lever and you attach yourself to the mech so when you jump you should be okay and you should delete the chair and then you unanchor all so you should have the leg like this so now uh, you got to get a jet, so we put a get jet like that. But if you don't have two jets and you only have one jet, that's fine. You can still do it. So I guess you could just build up. So get on this wood block. Make sure you got shift lock on. I just got to get on top of it first. All right, and then I just kind of scale up, just like this. Remember, you have to constantly be be moving your mouse, or you can block up, or you can build up. That'll just take very long. And once you're up, you can now click the jet. Bam! All right, now, no, you cannot join clone. You're being naughty. All right, so now, you just have to move all the way over here, so like this. And when you get to about the second stage, like this stage right here, you then have to reload. So now, I have to reload. So I go into saves, and then I reload. All right, it's loading, and then look, it's there, but I didn't uh, disappear. So, we, now we have successfully duplicated our build. So now we can fly all the way back over. No, stop, you can't join. You're being naughty. Okay, and now... If he asks again, I'm gonna turn off join. And we turn that off, and bam. All right, we are now back. So we are cool. Now I'm turning on isolation, Mr. Quinn. That's it, you've done it now. Turning on isolation. Now you cannot get in. All right, so we put the block, we put it about six seats away, yeah? So we put a seat there, and now we basically just have to measure. So one, wait, so we also, ah! Oh! We also need to figure out, did I put it there? So I should be lined up, all right, yep. So it should be one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we sit in the chair and bam. All right, now we just check if it's lined up. Yep. And now we anchor it all. Bam. And now we can finally delete all the chair. I don't want to see a gun. I don't want to see a Gundam. I don't want to see a Gundam. Everyone just keeps joining. So now we have two legs. Now, as you can see, very wide gap. So. We got to make the, um, you know, the next bit, so, got that, that, and bam, got to make it, like, semi-even, so, do that. Alright, so now, bam, 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 and we do that, that, and we put a block there, and a few blocks there. Any block there, and a block there, and there, there, and there. Actually, no, about there. All right, so now we have our waist. So now we can make the torso. So, the torso, I'm going to do that, that. 
gonna be a very basic torso. So, gotta go to the back. And we also gotta do bam, 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 bam. Do that, that, that. So we're doing like that kind of design. I don't wanna see a Gundam that someone else built for you, Quinn. You know that heart built that for you. We do that, 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 and that. And that, 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 and that. All right, so now that we have the waist, we can now make the torso. So, I'm also gonna add something down here, so. Like that. Okay, so now we can make the torso. So let's do it. We gotta get rid of that. Okay, so. Do that. No, we wanna make it like, oh yeah. And bam, and bam, and a pop, and a pop, and a boop, and a beep, and a pop. We can add like a neon block here, maybe. Okay, neon core. So we gotta go to the back, and we put it there. Like that. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Do pop, beep, pop, boop, pop, boop. So it should look like that. Okay, now I'm actually, I'm just gonna remove that actually. Yeah, so now we have this. I'm gonna make the torso thinner as well because it's a bit thick right now. Okay, so let's just make it a little bit thinner. So we're gonna be controlling it from the waist, I guess. So now we should have this. Uh, we gotta also we gotta also redo this. Okay, now. We've got to uh, make the head of our mech, so we gotta do that. And put two blocks there. For the head, I'm gonna do... Heads are usually the most difficult part of a mech. And I'm not really good at making mini heads, but I can try. So we put a block there and there. Ah, no! Alright, let's turn on red merge. Bam, bam. And we do, ah, hmm, like that, like horns. And we can do that and that. Okay, so now we have our head and we can just add a little bit of detail. Oh yeah, we need armoring for the torso. So, get our piston, put it there. Who's flipping a lever? Ooh, a Gundam, yay. We got two Gundams. Got a Gundam there, and a Gundam there. I am surrounded by Gundams. Man, I have Gundam Blitz, but he, I never ended up finishing him. I think I deleted him, which is kind of sad. He looked really awesome. And we do that, and we do bam, and a pop, boop, pop, beep, pop, boop, skip, pop. And we make it go all the way around. We do that and, and uh, that and uh, that and uh, that, and we should have this. And we can also add another armor plate for the waist. So we put that there, and we do. We put that there, and we put that there. And that there, and there, and there, and there. All right, uh, is that touching? No, it's not. All right, that should be good. Okay, now that we have the uh, torso done and the head done, we can now do the arms, and then we will be finished. But first, oh jeez, lag. Clone, what are you doing? No, clone, stop, you're being annoying. Bad clone, bad. <laughs> Naughty clone, naughty, bad. Put a chair there, so that's where we're gonna, oh jeez. That's where we're gonna control it. Stop controlling your ex here. Oh my gosh. Go away. No, he's coming towards me. Luckily, I have isolation on, so that will stop him. I will fight him with this mech, even though I will probably die because he is about 100 times the size of me. But it's all, it's worth trying. So, I'm actually gonna make movable arms, so you're gonna be able to swing the arms. So, you put a servo... Hmm. Let's put a servo there, and a servo... There. Clone, go away! Shoot, go away. 
Good. No. Bad coin. Naughty coin. Bad. No. Shoot. Naughty coin. Bad coin. Bad. Put that there. And we put that there. 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 Put that there. There. Oh, no. Wait. There. 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 And we do bam. 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 And bam. 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 Alright, so now we can do... Uh, we can do a boop, and we can do a skip up, boop, boop, and now we can do the arm. So we put a pole here, and a pole here, and we can do the arm. So the arms are going to be very skinny, but we're going to give the arms armor. So they're going to be armored arms, armor arm, armor arm, armor arm. That's hard to say. Jeez. Try and say it. Armor arm. Armor arm. Armored arm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we put that. Bam. We put that a bam. We do a bam. And we do a bam. And now we can add the armor for the arms. The armor. The armor. The arm armor. The arm armor. Yes, the arm armor. And we do. Put a pull there. Put a pull there, 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 and we do bam, bam. We do a bam, bam, and we do. That's not touching, great. And we do that there, and that there, and that there. And that, my friends, is the transforming mech. So now, let's save. Oh, yeah, we need to do select all. We need to change the extend length to two. Remember, we. Four, three, two. The servo torque has to be at max. And now we can start key binding. So we need to get a button out. Or we need to get to the lever. So this is going to be our transform button. This is the button that will make the mech transform. So when it has when we flip it down, the mech will turn it into its uh, buff state. It'll go and it'll turn uh, super strong. So get your binding tool. Unbind all the butter so it's like that it's like that oh right yeah uh something you can't multi-select butter so you have to do it one by one it's gonna take ages card shoo no shoo go away go away clean okay i'll do that 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 did i unbind that i feel like i didn't no okay okay Oh, I can't. I just. Oh, okay. You can't. You just. You just click them. I. I was holding control. Okay. Uh, yep. That's all the armor there and then this armor there and there. Oh, I didn't make it so that armor. <laughs> Oops. No, I messed it up. Okay. Uh, that's binded. Oh no 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 not the piston. That's binded. That's binded. That's binded. That's binded. That's binded. That's binded. Unbind all that. Okay, uh, is that butter still binded? Yes, it is. And that, and that. Unbind all of it. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna mess it up this time. I promise. Okay. Click that. Click that. Click that. Click that. Click that. Click that. Right, all that selected. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and click that and that, and we do bam, bam. Okay, and now we unbind. Hello. Okay. All right. All right. Now we should be all good to go. Is that butter still binded? Cause it looks like it is. No, it wasn't. Okay. All right, we have all the butter unbinded, and now this is going to be our drop armor button. Oh, oh, jeez. This is so confusing. It looks like a spider web. We click that, and now this time we select, we unselect all the piston. Oh, wait, is it? Okay, we we unselect all the pistons. Select all of these pistons, and we do that piston and that piston. Just find all the pistons you can. That piston, 
even that piston and that one and that one and that one and that one and even that one and we unbind all of it boom I just made a huge mess all right uh, I'm gonna save and test and I'm gonna see if it works okay I've saved all right I'm gonna unanchor it and I'm gonna see if I did it so click that yay all right and yep so we're gonna unbind the servers though so bam that works awesomely and now if we do that bam all the armor drops including both the arms uh okay all right it works but it drops the arms hold on hold up hold up hold up hold on hold on hold on wait a minute wait a second it drops the arms why does it drop the arms what is going on the arms just drop <gasps> the arms are connected to the armor oh no okay 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 this is an easy fix so get rid of that and then we get a pole and we go do that and that and that that okay now it's connected to the body okay now it should work but we also want to have a uh, swing button or a punch button so i'm gonna get a button and i'm gonna put it there so this button i think it'll actually be easier just like so we put a button there we put another one there so now that button shouldn't be binded to anything it's binded to everything <sighs> I guess the armor button can be the punch button. Alright, so I guess our mech is done. So now we can test. So I'm gonna get in it. So we don't we don't need the wings to pilot this mech, or at least we shouldn't. So bam, delete the wings. And we get our cake. And we can also get some candy maybe, because that'll make us go even fast. Er. Okay, let's test it out. So let's unanchor it all. And boom! Alright. And now if I press this, boom, I am in my defense form. So this is my defense form. So I'm really, really strong. All my armor is extending out. So if anyone hits me, it'll hit the armor and not me. And now if I do this, I'm in my attack form. I have a mix of a little bit of a defense and a little bit of attack. So I'm really good at fighting now. And you can also punch stuff really hard. And now we can now switch into our speed form. We drop all of our armor, except for the arm ones, and I'm now really fast because I have not much armor on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely did. This is an awesome, really awesome and cool mech. And I'll see you guys in the next video.